we're asked to use the graph of f of x to sketch a graph of f prime of x. f prime of x, or the derivative function values, are equal to the slopes of the tangent lines to f of x at given values of x. And therefore, we will sketch several tangent lines to the graph of f of x, and then estimate the slopes to estimate the corresponding derivative function values. We will record the information in the table below. Every x and corresponding derivative function value will give us one point on the graph of f prime of x. Let's begin by sketching the slope of the tangent line at x equals one. And now let's estimate the slope. Remember the slope is equal to the rise over the run or the ratio of the vertical change to horizontal change. From the point of tangency, notice how if we go up, let's say approximately 1.25 and write one unit, we find another point on the tangent line. Notice how I went up 1.25 because I was looking for a vertical distance where I could go right exactly one unit and find a second point on the tangent line. The ratio of the vertical change to horizontal change is 1.25 divided by one. The slope of the tangent line is 1.25 at x equals one. Let's record this information below. So we have one and then 1.25 for the slope of the tangent line, which is also the derivative function value. So now we know the point one comma 1.25 is one point on the graph of f prime of x. And now let's sketch the tangent line at x equals two. And now let's approximate the slope. From the point of tangency, if we go up two units and write three units, we find another point on the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line and the derivative function value is two thirds, x equals two. Let's record this below. So two comma two thirds would be one point on the graph of the derivative function. Notice as we move to the right, the slopes of the tangent lines will remain positive but they will decrease. Let's sketch the tangent line at x equals four. And again, let's approximate the slope. From the point of tangency, if we move up one unit and write two units, we find another point on the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line as well as the derivative function value at x equals four is one half. Notice as we move closer and closer to zero, the slopes increase and get larger and larger. Let's go ahead and sketch the slope of the tangent line at x equals one fourth, which should be approximately here. And let's estimate the slope. From the point of tangency, if we move up two units and write one unit, we find another point on the tangent line. Notice how the slope of the tangent line at x equals one fourth is equal to two. So now let's go ahead and sketch these four points that we know are going to be on the graph of f prime of x. Again, we have a given x value and the corresponding derivative function value. We have the point one comma 1.25, which is approximately here. We have the point two comma two thirds, which is approximately here, as well as four comma one half, which is approximately here. And we have one fourth comma two, which is approximately here. So again, we know as we move to the right along the graph of f of x, the slopes of the tangent lines remain positive, but decrease. So we can say they approach zero. And as we move closer and closer to x equals zero, the slopes of the tangent lines and derivative function values increase without bound in the positive direction. So when we graph f prime of x moving to the right, the graph is going to pass through these four points and approach y equals zero, something like this. As we get closer and closer to zero, the derivative function values increase without bound and approach the y-axis. On the left, we have the graph of f of x. On the right, we have the graph of f prime of x. I hope you found this helpful.